chopped cheese. Some say that's New York's delicacy right there. It's either chopped cheese, a salsa egg and cheese, or some pizza. We all, we all know these are New York's favorite things to eat, man. And saying that, let's make it the Don way. So for this video, we're just gonna do a little plain Jane type of style. So we're just gonna get some basic ingredients. And the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some lettuce. So just gonna chop that baby up, you know what I mean? But if you don't feel like chopping, let's go to your local grocery store. It's perfectly fine, you know what I'm saying? Especially since it's gonna be a chill and calm recipe video. So this is either gonna be a quick and easy lunch for you or a very simple dinner, you know? So in saying that, go ahead and start peeling your onions and start slicing them. Don't worry about dicing it. We're not gonna worry about that because so in making a chopped cheese, man, I seen a lot of people make it in a lot of different ways. And one time I seen a nigga make, put it in a tortilla wrap. And I was watching and I was like, bro, isn't that basically like a burrito? Like, <laughs> but in making a chopped cheese, man, or just making simple recipes all together, man, I just have one real rule. Keep it simple, stupid. Like, there's no point of really like overcomplicating recipes that don't need to be complicated, you know? I see I seen one dude make a sloppy joe in Butter Lay. That took that man forever. But like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, the video was dope as hell. Like, it was a dope ass video. Just don't make things overly complicated, you know? It's funny that I say that because I'm gonna sit here and start caramelizing some onions. And we all know caramelized onions doesn't happen in seconds, you know? But the reason why I'm doing it, it really gives our chopped cheese a nice sweet and rich flavor to it, you know what I'm saying? But we just partially caramelizing it. But after you get done doing that, go ahead and start throwing your ground beef. I didn't know what the hell I wanted to say at that point because I did it way too many times. I just want to be a one take drape. But go ahead and place your meat down. I had to use my hands so I don't have a burger press. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So in making chopped cheese, a lot of people like to just make a burger patty and then let it cook. I never got that, to be honest with you. Like, they always so well, well, you get the burnt edges off of it, though, bro. But it's like, bro, like, you just wasting, you just wasting a lot of time, bro. You literally just make it, you really taking the time to make a burger patty and throw it on a thing just for you to chop it up. When you can just literally just do this. Like I said, bro, like, say it with me, y'all. We're about to keep it simple. You know what I mean? So, literally, as you see what we're doing is, bro, we're literally just kind of just getting the bottom cooked. We just got this like we just got the plates down, like completely kind of smashed down. You know what I'm saying? Press it down if you want to, right? Let it cook up really well, and then just flip, bro. Just like that. I mean, obviously it's not gonna like if I let it cook a little bit longer, you're gonna get the crispy edges. But we're gonna be cooking regardless, bro. So that's what I'm just gonna throw ahead my onions in here, right? Because now, since we kind of partially. Caramelize them. We're just gonna start cooking everything together now, bro. So that's we're just gonna start smashing everything together. Before y'all go to the comments talking about, bro, you didn't let it cook enough. <laughs> Don't trip, man. We got a plan. Don't worry about it. I did it on purpose. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be lightly coloring at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So we can start chopping up to add our seasonings. We're not gonna add too much because we're gonna be saving the grease and the fat that comes off of it, right? So when I make chopped cheese, I usually kind of cook it on a medium low heat just so I could get my meat really nice and juicy. You know what I'm saying? And also I could cook the bread on it at the same time. So in saying that, I'm gonna go start moving my meat to the side for the and let it cook up for a little bit just for the bottom and get real nice and crispy as y'all want it you know what i'm saying so while that doing that i'm just give me like a regular hoagie bread and start rubbing it into the grease so the grease and fat is going to get the bread a nice crust and also make it a little bit salty so that's why we also watching the season in our meat so that's why i start throwing my cheese down a nice little goo to let that melt up for a little bit so as our bread is working we're gonna start working on this sauce i don't know if it's considered as a big mat sauce but we just this is gonna be a dawn sauce today bro so get you some ketchup some sweet relish and some mayo and start mixing it up you could low-key skip all this stuff by buying this sauce it comes in the store i don't know whatever hey look the sauce is fire and i don't even like mayonnaise so let's start assembling so we're going to add our sauce to the bottom and to the top throw our lettuce down you know what i'm saying and once you get done throwing your lettuce down let's get our meat down that don't look so freaking delicious bro god boy so as you can see we let the cheese nice and melt together you know what i'm saying so at that point that's why i start adding some pico de gallo um you can use regular tomatoes if you want i prefer not to because this is a lot more easier but yeah man so there you go chopped cheese man like i said bro we gotta keep it simple man. i ain't gonna lie i'm about to uh i'm gonna cut this baby in half 
Yo, this joint smells so good, y'all. I swear to y'all. Cut it in half. Try it. Get it a little bit closer for y'all can see that joint too. Alright, let's open this baby up. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's try it. Bet. Ready? Here out of the way. Perfectly seasoned ground beef, bro. Like that's why we didn't want to add too much to it because if you add too much, man, it's gonna get salty with the bread a little bit. You gotta really be careful with it. But my God, and then you got the sauce, bro. Like if y'all, if if you've been around me for a while, y'all already know I don't like mayonnaise. But that little concoction right there, bro. That's it, bro. I think they even sell it in the stores. I think too. I think low key. I think there's like. What they use for the Big Mac sauce. I'm not too sure, but bro, it was so freaking good, man. And did the, mm. then the gooey, bro. Oh my God. This is it, y'all. Mm. Mm. There you go, man. A very simple, but delicious chopped cheese, man. For something like this, bro, we want to make sure it's simple and effective. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> It definitely hit the mark, bro. It definitely hit the mark, man. I'm about to down this thing, so I appreciate y'all for watching. So go ahead and do me a favor, bro. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can check out the next video. And I'll see y'all to the very next episode. <sighs> I ain't about to do that because I just got my camera back and I don't want to mess it up. I haven't been messing it up, but still, though, you know what I'm saying? I got to be safe, though, you feel me? So. What was I playing? What was I playing? I'm playing this.